Hello class. Welcome to Electrical Circuits 1. The course Electrical Circuits has two parts. The Electrical Circuits 1 and the Electrical Circuits 2. That's EE101 and EE102. Now, electrical, the course Electrical Circuits deals primarily with the electric circuit theory. In EE101, we'll have the DC circuits. And in EE102, we'll have the AC circuits. Now, in this lecture, we'll have the basics of electric circuit theory. Okay, let's start. We'll specifically have these five topics. And I want first to impress you with the importance of this course. Electric circuit theory is a fundamental theory upon which all branches of electrical engineering are built. Many branches of electrical engineering, such as power, Electric machines, control, electronics, communications, and instrumentation are based on electric circuit theory. Therefore, this course is the most important course for an electrical engineering student and always an excellent starting point for a beginning student in electrical engineering education. Now, in electrical engineering, we are often interested in transferring energy from one point to another. To do this requires an interconnection of electrical devices. Such interconnection is referred to as an electric circuit, and each component of the circuit is known as an element. It can be a simple electric circuit like this, like this one consisting of three basic elements, our battery, our lamp, and our connecting wires. Or a circuit can be a complicated one, just like this circuit for a, of a radio receiver. Our goal in this course is the analysis of the circuits. That is the study of the behavior of the circuit. For example, how does it respond to a given input? How do the interconnected elements interact? So things like that. Let's now define other basic terms in electric circuits. We'll have the charge and current. The most basic quantity in electric circuit is the electric charge or electricity. If yes, then you have already known and experienced what an electric charge is. We know from elementary physics that all matter is made of fundamental building blocks known as atoms and that each atom consists of electrons, protons, and neutrons. We also know that the charge on an electron is one negative 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 columns while a proton carries a positive charge of the same magnitude as the electron. The presence of equal numbers of protons and electrons leaves an atom neutrally charged. Now, there are three things we are to note about electric charge. First, the column is a large unit for charges. In one column of charge, there are 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons. Thus, realistic or laboratory values of charges are on the order of microcoulomb, nanocoulomb, or picocoulomb. Second thing to note is, according to experimental observations, the only charges that occur in nature are integral multiples of the electric charge E. So, bali, isa, doha, tulo, ano, pataas, dili, um, 1.5, 2.5, or 3.75, ana dili. So, integral multiples sa imuhang E. Mo na ang natural occurring. Okay, ang katulo kay ang law of conservation of charge, which states that electric charge can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. Hence, the algebraic sum of the electric charges in a system does not change. Okay, dilik man ma-create or ma-destroy ang charge. Introducing to you the Andre Marie, um, uh, Andre Marie Ampere. He is a French mathematician and physicist. He de defined the concept of electric current. He developed a way to measure current, and that's why he invented the ammeter. Then he also formulated the laws of electromagnetism. A unique feature of electric charge or electricity is the fact that it is mobile. That is, it can be transferred from one place to another. When a conducting wire is connected to a battery, 
that's a source of electromotive force, the charges are compelled to move around the circuit. Positive charges move in one direction, while negative charges move in the opposite direction. This motion of charges creates electric current. Okay? So, ang ato ang electromotive force, for example, kini ato ang source ato ang electromotive force, kini baling battery, iyang itoklod ang charges. Ang positive charges, iyan ang itoklod from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Kini pod nga force, iya pong itoklod ang negative charges from the negative terminal padulong sa positive terminal. So, bali, ang katong mga electrons nga nasa itong wire, itoklod na sa ato ang source. Kay force man siya. Source man siya sa force. Itoklod niya itong mga electrons gikan sa negative terminal sa ato ang source padulong sa positive terminal. Okay. So, ang kanang flow na dayon sa charges, that's what we call current. Now, actually, current is the flow of negatively charged electrons. Okay? Magin siya sa actual. Pero, we will follow the IEEE convention that current is the net flow of positive charges. Okay? Ako otro na, current, according to convention, is the flow of positive charges. Pero, in actuality, negative char net flow na siya sa negative charges. Okay? Now, nga nung ang Anong conven ang convention man natong i-follow? It is for us na magkasinabot. Ang katong, us in the same profession, uh, magkasinabot. Ang convention man go, that's a standard way of describing something so that others in the same profession as us can understand what we mean. Okay, kung different tao, standard, then magka, dito magkasinabot. Okay, so that's why we follow the IEEE convention that is electric current is the flow of positive charge. Now, mathematically, electric current is the time rate of change of charge. That is, I is defined as dQ over dt, where I is current, Q is charge, and T is time. And 1 ampere is equal to 1 column per second. There are two common types of electric circuit. I, electric current, sorry. The direct current, or we call it DC, and the alternating current, or we call AC. There are different ways of looking at direct current and alternating current. The best definition that I found is that there are two ways that current can flow. It can always flow in the same direction where it does not reverse direction, in which case we have the direct current. These currents can be constant or time varying. Another one is if the current flows in both directions, then we have alternating current. So, bale, ang pag-differentiate nato sa DC o sa AC kay nakabase sa flow sa current. Kung same ra ang flow sa current, then DC na siya. Bahalag time varying or constant ang mohang current. Pero kung mag-change gani ang flow, ang direction sa flow, okay? kung ang DC, same ang direction sa flow. Pero ang sa AC, Kung mag-change gani ang direction sa flow, so that's what we call alternating current. Now, by convention, we will use the symbol I, ang kining dako na I, to represent a constant current. If the current varies with respect to time, so kini na po, time varying. Okay, basta time varying, bahalag AC bar sa or DC, we will use the small I. Since current is the flow of charge, then it should have an associated direction of flow. As mentioned earlier, the direction of current flow is conventionally taken as the direction of positive charge movement. That is, from the positive terminal of the source to the negative terminal of the source. So, if I is equal to 5 amperes, kung sa may flow, ana? Okay, from the positive terminal, to the negative terminal. Kung kini na pod, if I is ikaw to negative 5 amperes, so ang kanang sa negative A na direction, nag indicate niya sa direction sa current flow. So, pero ang magnitude, pareho rin gapon. So pareho ang magnitude, 5 amperes, 5 amperes. Kung ang positive kay kini yung direction, clockwise, then ang negative should be counterclockwise ang direction. Okay? But again, same ang magnitude. Okay, now question. 
How about kini? Um, negative 5 amperes. Tapos ang direction kay counterclockwise. Asa man siya equal? Kini or kini? Asa lang tawon ninyo. So, sa mga nakasaktog answer, actually, kini siya. Negative 5 amperes nga ang arrow kay counterclockwise. Kini siya kay equal an. Kining 5 amperes nga ang direction kay clockwise. Kaya nga naman. Well, obvious ang pod na ang direction ani o kini pareho, di ba? Pero dili sila pareho o magnitude. 5 ni, tas kini, nakabatong na kini negative 5. So, hindi gini siya, hindi gini siya, mao. So, ang nabili na lang, kini lang da yan. And actually, ang kini negative 5 ani, kung imo nang i-reflect dire sa iyang direction, kini sa iyong arrow, Ang negative an na ibali na ni, kung yung reflect ani, then balihon ni. So, pagbali ani, so 5 amperes, then padano na dayon, ay pa clockwise na dayon. So, the same na din siya ani. Okay? Ito pa, si 5 amperes nga clockwise, it's just equal to negative 5 amperes nga counterclockwise. Okay? Let's now come to voltage. Consider again this figure. To move the electrons in a conductor in a particular direction requires some work or energy transfer. This work is performed by an external electromotive force or we call EMF, typically represented by the battery in the figure. This EMF is also known as voltage or potential difference. Defining it formally, voltage VAB, kinisa? Between um, two points, A and B. In an electric circuit is the energy or work needed to move um, a unit charge from A to B through an element. So mathematically, VAB is defined as DW over DQ, where W is energy, Q is charge, and V is our uh, voltage. Ang ato ang 1 volt di I is equal to 1 joule per column. And the, the term voltage, okay, ang kay measured siya in volts. Ang kanang volts, gikan na siya um, kay Alessandro Antonio Volta. So it's named in honor of him, ni kay Volta. He invented um, the electric battery and also the capacitor. And kabalawa mo, he started performing electrical experiments at the age of 18. So bata pa kayo. Okay, in this figure, the voltage VAB okay, is across an element. Muna natong element bali, kining rectangle. Then, ang kining plus o minus nga sign, they are used to define reference direction or what we call voltage polarity. This figure shows that point A is at a potential of VAB volts higher than point B. So, bali si point A kay VAB volts higher kay point B. Or, si point B kay VAB volts lower kay point A. Okay, let's try to give a value. So, paraan eh. Si point A kay 9 volts higher kay point B. Or, si point B kay 9 volts lower kay point A. So, tungod kay si point A, 9 volts higher man kay point B, so, kung moagi ta from point A through this element to point B, then na ay voltage drop. Diba? Kay taas man yung potential. Kini mas obos yung potential. So, ito pa. Pag agi na ito dara, so na ito voltage drop. Or kung from B to A, na ay voltage rise. Okay. Kini yun, equal man sila. Si B ane, kay, naman siya ang positive nga polarity, diba? So, si B is negative 9 volts higher kay A. Or si A kay negative 9 volts lower kay B. And if you are to consider, pariho rama sila, di ba? Si, for example, si A kay positive 9 volts higher kay B. And that's just equal to, mayroon ka nga si A kay negative 9 volts lower kay B. Okay? So, magkapariho rana. Now, by convention again, 
um, a constant voltage um, is represented by um, a kining dako na V, whereas a sinusoidal time varying voltage okay, is called an AC voltage and is represented by kining gamay na V. So, kung DC voltage, constant voltage, tawagan na natog DC voltage, ang representation ana kay dako na V. Now, kung sinusoidally time varying ato ang voltage, so AC voltage na siya, niya, ang representation ana kay gamay na V. Okay, that's it for now. Next, mamoni ato ang nahuman, 1.1 to 1.3. So, next time, I'll have power and energy and circuit elements. That's all. Thank you.